Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Manola. If this is your first time seeing me, you are definitely welcome. And if you're a returning subscriber, you already know, okay? Welcome back to my channel. If you're not subscribed yet, go ahead and join the family. Subscribe down below or subscribe right here. You know, we always like to work with more people. Uh, can we give a moment for my new hairstyle? I like it. Do you like it? We like it, huh? Yeah, I like it. So, <laughs> this used to be my signature hairstyle. Like, I would do this every two months. Like, super long braids. This is not even as long as I usually do it, but that's pretty much the length. Like, what that's what it looks like. Um, it literally took, like, nine hours i was oh my god it took so long though but it was worth it because the braids are super pretty okay today we're doing something different we're trying a product so your girl took a trip to the beauty supply you know normally yeah i took a trip to the beauty supply and you know i'm always looking for good things that are affordable and i'm always willing to try to bring you guys the best thing out there <laughs> okay when i was at the beauty supply i came across this foundation stick that only cost a dollar. So I was, oh, I was like, oh, ah, oh, we need to try that. That's what I was like, you know. So I was like, I definitely have to try this foundation out, and that's what we're doing today. I'm going to be telling you guys all about this foundation. Uh, now I hope. Well, the foundation is a dollar. How disappointed can I be? At least I didn't spend $40 on it or $50 on it. So it's really just a trial for fun. I hope you guys are going to enjoy this video. So let's get started. Bam, bam, bam. bam. So <laughs> this is what the foundation looks like. It's called Magic Collection Pro Stick Foundation. This is what it looks like. And I got two shades. I actually, to be honest, I got the second shade because I wanted to contour with it. But we'll see if the other one is too light. So that's really what it looks like. And then they didn't have so many shades, but I was like, I was so happy when I saw that. Oh, yo, this shade might be my match because it has that yellow undertone that I like. So that's what I'm going to be trying out today. My face is already moisturized and um, I'm going to apply um, some more primer just to get just to be even more moisturized because it's a foundation stick so for me a foundation stick is already dry because it's a stick so if it's not a liquid <laughs> formula for me you gotta moisturize like I want to give this a shot so what I'm gonna do is that one side of my face I'm going to be applying it with a brush and what the other side of my face I'm going to be applying the foundation with a beauty blender and I'm gonna start with the side that requires the brush so again, I'm using the color Cappuccino, right there, Cappuccino. Guys, if this foundation is a yes, this could be a dupe for the Anastasia Beverly Hills foundation that I also have, and that would be super cool. So yeah, it looks like it could be a match, and as you guys know, because I know y'all gonna come for me, um, I, I'm, I might as well just let you guys know right now, I always like my foundation to be a little lighter than my complexion, so it will be at least one shade lighter. So that's just my personal preference. People like to go darker for the face. I don't, so that's not me. I like to go a little lighter. Let's start with this side of my face, and then we're going to be blending it with the brush. Hmm, looks like it's really a match, guys. You see that? Maybe a second line right here. Hmm. It doesn't say. Is it a full coverage foundation? Hmm, we'll see. It's a really light foundation. I'm adding more product because I can tell that it's not like a full coverage foundation. And I'm going to grab a setting spray, spray onto my brush a bit just so it can be wet and dewy. And we're just going to start blending this foundation in. For me, it's definitely um, a match. Check it out. It's a really light coverage, so this is what the other side of my face is looking at like, and that's what the other side is looking at. So it's a really, really light coverage, but it's covering. Not the greatest, but it is covering, so I'm just going to buff that in. And I'm going to add a little bit here in my eye. I wouldn't say that it's buildable to the point where you can get a full coverage with this foundation, it's really just light to medium. So that's one side of my face. We're gonna do the other side with a beauty blender. 
so it, I feel like it's literally it's literally just melting into my skin <laughs> because it's such a match I forgot to mention I use my physicians formula rose all day right here and now we're gonna keep blending again I am wetting my beauty my <laughs> I was about to say brush I was supposed to do it with a beauty blender so I'm grabbing my beauty blender because I like it to be super moist did I just say I want my beauty blender to be super moist <laughs> okay so with blending with the foundation <laughs> that's why today's my day well blending with the beauty blender this is definitely a match for me like a real real match not my kind of match okay guys so this is the side of the foundation that I did with the brush and this is the side that I did with the beauty blender I'm liking the side with the beauty blender better and um, as you can see it's really a light coverage so I'm going to set my face um, and we'll see we'll see what it looks like from there you know what guys uh, <laughs> now that we're here we're trying this one little foundation I actually bought this LA colors um, loose setting powder that I've been wanting to try and it also costs about two dollars since we're doing things the cheap way why not do it all the way <laughs> So this is it, the LA Colors uh, Loose Translucent Powder. So I'm just going to set my whole face with this. Oh, look at that. I'm just opening it for the first time. Look, I'm just going to set my face with it. I'm thinking I might set the other side of my face with my black radiant. How's this looking, guys? Like, I'm not feeling this. I feel like it's giving me patches like it look, just looks really dry <laughs> y'all know me in dry shit I don't like it yeah so that's one side of my face that I've set with the LA colors loose translucent powder and I'm gonna set the other side of my face with the face with the black radiance uh, loose setting translucent powder I'm just tapping off the excess powder here I feel like this side just looks ashy <laughs> and patchy ashy ashy and patchy yeah, guys, the more I apply um, things on my face, the more I see that this foundation is, has a very, very light coverage. I would say that it's even, it just seems to me like a BB cream. They really just had, had to put some coconut oil in there, and it would have been a complete, you know, like a hint of coverage. Okay, so this is the face that I did with the Beauty Blender, and I set with the LA Colors Translucent Powder, and to me, it looks patchy, like the setting powder. I don't like it. First time I was trying it, disappointed. So it's a no for me. Ellie Collis, but I just lose in powder. Can't even set. Okay. And then the second one I did with the brush and the Black Radiance um, setting powder. And I definitely prefer this side. So, guys, I'm just going to go ahead and just do a little bit to this face. And um, we'll see how it looks like at the end. And it's just something really like because we want to focus on the foundation that we're trying today. Okay, guys, you know how you say, I'm just going to do a really quick beat and then you have lashes on and glitter and all that shit I really wanted to go for a simple beat but shit but as you can see that's what the foundation is looking like still very light not much coverage Plus, bam. I'm just gonna apply a bit of eyeshadow under my eyes here and I am using this mascara that I also got at the Beauty Supply. It was one dollar. I'm just lining my lips. Uh oh. Hell no. I'm gonna grab this color from the Victoria's Secret Velvet Matte Collection. It's a cream lip stain, and it's in the color Adored. Before we finish this um, tutorial or whatever this try out, I'm going to go outside and check out how the light is working with my face right now and I'll be back with you guys for more. Guys, this is what I look like uh, with the light. As you can see here, uh, there really isn't any coverage around my mouth because the foundation is so very light. And you know you can you can see through it's like it's just like a film cover and you can just see through everything so it's really not full coverage it's a bit patchy I had to reset it here but still it you know the coverage was just I, I didn't conceal but the coverage is just really bare minimum 
But here is how it looks during daylight. Here you go. But this is what the final look looks like. I definitely feel like there's some patches of dryness on my face because the foundation is so not full coverage. So I don't need to tell you guys that this is a one dollar foundation. So you really got what you paid for. So yeah, that's pretty much what it is. It's very patchy. No matter which one I which side I did with the beauty blender or whatever, it really doesn't matter. It's patchy. It looks see-through. You can see through all my skin. It barely covered anything. I feel like it's just layered there. The only way I could put this if if I'm super super broke, because we never know, right? You're super super broke and you want a dollar foundation because you still want to slay it. Because I could still go out with this face, you know, because the eyes are kind of cute. But um. Hmm. You could have done better magic collection, okay? You could have done better. Would I ask you to buy this product, baby girl? If you ain't got nothing to do with a dollar and ninety-nine cents, why not? You know, it's not horrible. It's better than some foundations out there because some foundations be looking orange, no shading here. Beauty blender. Yeah, some foundations be looking orange and I don't know for who it is for. But anyways, um, I hope you enjoyed this video. It was a trial and I had so much fun. I had so much fun filming this with you guys and I will see you in my next video. If you have any requests on what you want me to film next, then <laughs> make sure you comment it on the section down below. And I love you guys. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you guys next time.